2020. But we've had about a 3% increase up to about, ah, oh, darn it. <laughs> Look at this. I'm sitting out here filming. Maybe this is good for the bloopers. And look what comes in right here. I actually saw this guy out of the back of my eyes when I was talking. <laughs> That's pretty cool. He's coming and eating my buckwheat. Little spike buck. He must have been laying out here sleeping. Well, let's jump into this topic. And just as I was starting to film, I look over to my shoulder and look what's walking in right here. <laughs> I'm going to turn the camera a little bit. Can you guys see that? He came in and he's eating my buckwheat. But uh, he saw me talking about uh, the land values. And I think he must have uh, he must have popped up into the out of the weeds here. And he's, he's walked in. He's about 10, 15 feet behind me. I'm going to keep turning the camera because this is kind of interesting. You don't see this every day. But... Uh, Anyways, well, let's talk about land values in Wisconsin. So northwest region of the Wisconsin area is called the Indian Head uh, uh, area of Wisconsin. And it encompasses about, I'm going to say about 15 or 20 different counties. In that area, I cover six. So my discussion here today, I keep hearing this guy getting closer to me. He's within 10 feet of me. Um, my discussion here today is going to be about six counties that I cover. And that is Polk County, uh, St. Croix County, Pierce County, Pepin, Buffalo, Trempolo, as you go north to south, and Dunn County, Wisconsin. This area is, is known as the Driftless Area, at least we're on the northern end of the Driftless Area. And um, as a whole, the northwest region has had about a 3% increase in property values over the last year. And that's pretty typical that you would expect from property values. Um, <laughs> that is crazy. Um, and when I went back and I looked at the values from 2019 to 2020, I found that the average price per acre in the Northwest region was about $1,574 an acre. And that was across 126 different sales. So when I went back and I analyzed that again, and I looked at it from 2020 to now in 2021, it actually rose. The average price per acre now is about $1,688 an acre. That's about a 3% jump rise. And what's accounting for that? Well, I think there's a lot of things that uh, that's going on here. Um, you've got a lot of people that are moving out of the Twin Cities, and that is the major influencer in our market. And I'm, I'm suspecting that that's similar for any market uh, throughout anywhere in the United States. You always have an influencer that is pushing property values. It might be Atlanta and Georgia, or in Southeast Wisconsin, this Chicago. And if you're in St. Louis and, and you're selling in Western uh, Illinois, then St. Louis is gonna be your influencer. So. I'm sure that my experiences here in my market aren't unique, but that's what we've seen in the last year. So it's been about a 3% rise. But next thing what I did is I went in, I started breaking down the counties and I broke it down uh, by six different counties. So let's start with our first county, Polk. Polk County is just north of St. Croix County, as I've mentioned before. Um, it's a great county because it's close to everything. We're talking maybe one hour on the low end of the, the southern end of the county to about about just under two hours on the north end. So it's very accessible. And many times I've talked about the influences of demographic travel corridors, or excuse me, geographic travel corridors and demographic growth corridors and how they influence property values. And Polk County is in a perfect position to capitalize on that. And when I looked at the average cost per acre across the entire sales, and when I'm talking average, all I'm looking at is the raw data. There are highs and there are lows for all these counties and I don't really split them out. I just wanna look at the raw data and there are some sales that happen at 50 bucks an acre and there's some sales that happen at $10,000 an acre. There's always those outliers. But on average, Polk County last year was $2,469 per acre with a sample size of 155 sales, and that's land only. I personally own in Polk County. I like Polk County, and I think it has a lot of growth potential just because it's kind of undiscovered. It's easy to get to. There's a couple different ways you can come in from the west on the Minnesota side through Grantsburg, or you come in from Minneapolis to the north, come across at Highway 8 and shoot up Highway 35, and there's a number of different travel routes as well. 
a great county, kind of characterized on the south end by uh, farmland and, and uh, kind of less wooded, and then really wooded and marginal farmland, lightly populated on the north end. I personally own in northeast Polk County. I like it a lot, and I'd highly recommend it. Okay, the next county we're gonna talk about is coming straight south, St. Croix County. St. Croix County, historically, in the last 10 years, has been one of the fastest growing counties in the state of Wisconsin, if not the nation. It's just really desirable area, mainly because the influencer, which is uh, Minneapolis-St. Paul. Where I'm standing here in my area in Holton, Wisconsin, we're only about you know, 30 minutes from downtown Minneapolis. So you, you can live here, it's country, you got the deer walking around behind you, uh, and people like it here. The prices though are a little bit more expensive and as on a ranking, St. Croix actually ranks as the number one cost breaker, the highest cost breaker in the entire region in my area and I'm sure in the, in, in the entire Northwest region. It comes in at uh, 2,861, excuse me, $4,261 an acre with a sample size of 155 sales last year. It by far outpaces almost every county I have. There's a lot of things going on here. Uh, there's a lot of development, a lot of urbanization, but if you get just outside of that, that 30 minute ring, you're into the country and there's a lot of small towns, a lot of farmland, but because of its proximity to the Twin City, it's very desirable. So $4,261 an acre with 155 sales in 2020. The next one south, the next county south is Pierce County. Pierce County is also a fairly expensive county coming in at $3,350 an acre across 126 sales going last year. Um, Pierce County is in the really the true beginnings of the Driftless area. It's got the St. Croix River and I think even partially the Mississippi River on Pierce County. It's just a great beautiful uh, rolling landscape, small family farms, wineries, beautiful homes along the river. It's got great country clubs and, and uh, um, uh, golf courses. Uh, it's got a nice university in River Falls and a lot of small, really cool little country towns. I like Pierce County a lot and so do a lot of other people because it's so close to the Twin Cities, very accessible, very commutable, and it's in one of those key demographic growth and key geographic travel corridors of the Highway 35 going south. Pierce County is a fantastic county and it's coming in at number two in the most expensive counties in my region. Okay, next is Pepin County. Pepin County is really the beginning of the Driftless area. A small sliver of the county actually reaches the Mississippi River, but the, for the most part, this is a very urban, very uh, small farms, kind of country setting, more rolling hills, broken up with small timber tracks and small Amish farms, a few wineries, and of course, some agriculture as well. Pepin County is very desirable and the turnover is not very high. Pepin County comes in at $2,276 an acre with only 39 sales over the last year. I know that for a fact. I advertise a lot here and I really don't get a lot of action, a lot of listing action down in Pepin County. For whatever reason, people move there, they buy the land and they're staying. Pepin County comes in at number four. Number four, great property in Pepin County. Okay. Now we're coming to a, a county that everybody knows, Buffalo County, Wisconsin, the Boone and Crockett, I believe Pope and Young, capital of the world, indisputable. More trophy animals come out of Buffalo County than any other county that is in the United States. It is hands down number one. It is characterized by steep coolies, tall bluffs, beautiful fertile farmland on the top and bottom, and massive whitetail. And Buffalo County is an expensive county. If you're a hunter and you're looking to buy in Buffalo County, you could pretty much expect you're going to pay four to five thousand dollars an acre in Buffalo County. But surprisingly, when I did the averages, it came in at thirty-three hundred and thirty-one dollars an acre with a sample size of hundred and thirty-nine sales. That actually surprised me a little bit. But there's a difference between what the data says and what people are actually selling because there's such a broad range of sales. If I search around, I'll guarantee you that I've found and I will find tillable irrigated land in Buffalo County selling at $10,000 an acre. And I'll find swamp land along the Mississippi that might bring $50 an acre only because it was a private land sale. Those influence the market, they influence the data that I have. I know for a fact, that if I'm listing a farm in Buffalo County and it's got any hunting capability, it's easily $4,500 an acre 
maybe as high as $6,000 an acre. Buffalo County has a tremendous draw. It always will be uh, ha have that, and it's always gonna be expensive. Buffalo County comes in at number five at $3,331 per acre. Okay, continuing south down along the, the Mississippi River, we come to Trempolo County. Trempolo County, arguably and, and affectionately, is nicknamed Buffalo County at half the price. I don't know about that. If you're in Buffalo County, I surely don't want to offend you because I know there's some fantastic hunting down there. But the fact remains, it doesn't have the Buffalo County price tag because it does not have the Buffalo County reputation. Doesn't mean it's not good. It's secluded, it's wooded, it has small farms, there's a lot of public land in that area, and some monster bucks. It just has not had the branding from the TV shows and the outfitters and even the locals. Buffalo County comes in, excuse me, Trempolo County comes in at $2,948 an acre with 132 sales last year. I like Trempolo County. Trempolo County, I've sold a couple properties down here, um, beautiful farms, kind of rolling hills, a little bit more, or excuse me, a little bit less bluff country than, than uh, Buffalo, but it still has that flavor of the bluffs and the top and bottom access with wooded side hills and draws. Very difficult to hunt. A lot of thermals, a lot of wind interaction, helps those deer get old. Trempolo County comes in at number one, two, three, four, five on our list at $2,948 an acre. Okay, last but not least, and likely my favorite county of all, if I didn't own in Polk, I'd own in Dunn. Dunn County is a great looking county. It comes in at $2,382 an acre, and it's kind of untouched in the sense that a lot of people haven't discovered Pol uh, Dunn, and I think that's why the prices are still the same, uh, still at this level. I'm currently selling land in Dunn County though at probably $3,500 to maybe as high as $4,500 an acre for recreational land. We're talking 40 acre parcels on all of this data. That's what we're looking at. So the average 40 is gonna be about $2,382 an acre, but the marketable price where I'm selling these, this land is closer to 3,500. Why do people like Dunn County or why should they like Dunn County? Well, if you look at Dunn County, it's situated right north and west of Eau Claire, uh, Menominee area, a fast growing metro area, and just a little bit west of the Minneapolis St. Paul area, very easily accessible coming up straight Highway 25 or out Highway 64. Dunn County is also termed in some uh, circles as Buffalo County at half the price. You can see everybody likes to compare to Buffalo County, but Dunn County is a great looking county. It's got rolling hills, uh, wooded uh, tops, and fertile farmland. There's a couple rivers with the Cedar River, the Willow River. Um, I'm, I'm forgetting another one. There, there's a couple out of there. I really like northern Dunn County. It's a little bit more wooded, a little bit more rolling, more deer hunting looking. I really like that area. The southern part of Dunn County is more flat. Uh, the soil's really sandy, it's really light. Both have great deer populations, a lot of deer hunting in that area. And I personally have leased a farm in Dunn County and I shot my biggest buck, a 154 inch Pope and Young uh, out of Dunn County. I like Dunn County because of the position. I know the market prices are probably $3,500 an acre, $3,750. And on occasion, I might even reach over uh, 4,000 because I recently sold a property at 42.50 an acre. That's starting to push it. Dunn County is a great equity opportunity. It's a little underpriced. It's close to a lot of people. I think as the uh, demographics uh, of the Minneapolis folks keep moving into Wisconsin, Dunn County is gonna be really attractive. Dunn County, number six on the list at $2,382 an acre. All right, so hopefully I got those ranking right, but I'm gonna go through it now and I'm gonna read off the ranks. Here we go. Number one, as far as cost per acre, St. Croix County at $4,286 an acre. Number two, Pierce County coming at $3,350 an acre. Number three, Buffalo County coming in at just under that at $3,331 an acre. Number four, Trempolo County, $2,940 an acre. Polk County, my county coming in at number five, at $2,409 an acre. Number six was Dunn County at $2,387 an acre. And last but not least, at number seven, Pepin County, 
and $76 an acre. I hope that helps you and you find that interesting. You know, there's a lot of ways you can break down the data. I'm looking at it in a pretty basic way. Now, the market price for what I'm selling at and the data price of what I'm listing are quite different. So don't quote me on the data. It matters the market. The market sets the price. That's what you gotta look at if you're buying a property. I hope you found that interesting and you'll keep watching my videos. I really appreciate it if you'll hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Neil Hogger and I'm a land specialist with Whitetail Properties Real Estate here in my backyard today with deer walking around. I appreciate watching. You've been watching. The American Landman.